Tablighi Jamaat, A House Divided, T.J. Terra, one of four parts. So in this section, um, I take the step to cover terrorism in great detail in regards to not only the definition of terrorism, but the TJ's relationship to terrorism. And the initial video is entitled The House Divided. When it comes to terrorism, we see another form of division. So the reason why I'm making this four separate parts is because in the first part, I will define terrorism. In the second part, I will look at the varying divided opinions about the TJ and whether they are actually terrorists and promote terrorism. The third part, I will discuss the failings of the TJ when it comes to addressing terrorism because of their apolitical cult-like nature. And in the fourth, I'll give you a case study related to terrorism. Uh, which will be specifically the issue of the shoe bomber, Richard Colvin Reed. So that's why this is in four parts. And being four parts, let's do the first of those four, which is defining terrorism. I start first and foremost with Noam Chomsky, a very famous linguist and political analyst. And this quote really sums up the whole of what terrorism in the modern world is. He says, everyone's worried about stopping terrorism. Well, there's really an easy way. Stop participating in it. So the point he's making there is there is a distinction made in Western media and Western analysis of the subject that Terrorism that is stochastic and random and individual, non-collective, is what everyone understands terrorism to be. But there is another form of terrorism, and that is state terrorism. And the literature, to be fair, does mention this. So to further expand on Chomsky's definition, I give you this article which you, which you should read in its entirety. But Chomsky brings forth an official definition. He says, there is an official definition. You can find it in the U.S. Code or in U.S. Army manuals. A brief statement of it taken from a U.S. manual is fair enough. Is that terror, to, is, that terror is the calculated use of violence or the threat of violence to attain political or religious ideological goals through intimidation, coercion, or instilling fear. That's terrorism. So Chomsky gives his official, or what he understands to be the official definition of terror, but then, and you should read this article and absorb it and understand it, but then he explains how there are problems with this official definition. And the problem is you cannot apply this definition across the board to all acts of terror. He says there's a problem. If you use the official definition of terrorism in the comprehensive treaty, i.e. this is a treaty against uh, terrorism, you are going to get the completely wrong results. So that can't be done. In fact, it's even worse than that. If you take a look at the definition of low intensity warfare, which is official US policy, you will find that it is very close to what I just read. In fact, Low intensity conflict is just another name for terrorism. So he, he's saying there that this is the dichotomy between stochastic individual terrorists and the state. You can't have one unified definition to describe terrorism because it brings out many unfortunate and inconvenient consequences. Enough of Chomsky. We go to an encyclopedia of terrorism, which you could say is the official narrative, the Western narrative. 
This is by Harvey W. Kushner. He gives a good introduction into um, the origins of terrorism or what it is. And in addition to giving the official definition of terrorism, he defines it as uh, hinging on three factors. The first is the method, which is the violence, the target, i.e. it could be civilians or the government. And the third is the purpose, and the purpose is to instill fear. That's a good way to understand it. Violence, the target, and the purpose. And then he does mention his Encyclopedia of Terrorism. Although ter terrorism is often thought of as the province of relatively small non-governmental groups, governments may use terrorism for a variety of reasons. So again, that's well worth a read. And he further says, defining state terrorism is complicated because all nations rely on violence to some degree. War, for example, is a violent and deadly way for countries to settle their differences. This is why defining terrorism is so important. Uh, when we later talk about the TJ and how um, people have identified them as being terrorists or not being terrorists, it's very diff difficult when you use these terms because it leads to complications in terms of defining who a terrorist is. And an example of these complications is found in this article, um, which is uh, by globalresearch.ca, an article written by Dan Glazebrook. And it says, David Cameron's contradictory narrative, fighting ISIS as a means to destroying the Syrian state. Now, this, this is five years old, but this whole debacle about fighting ISIS is very problematic simply because of the issues we have with defining what terrorism says. And I've read this paragraph here more than 10 times and I still have problems understanding what it says. So I hope you will read it 10 times and try and understand what this contradiction, uh, what this contradiction is. Because if you understand how difficult it is to define terrorism, it will make sense that this article, this paragraph, uh, is the physical manifestation of that difficulty. It says, putting all this together, the strategy becomes clear. Increased support and air cover to non-Islamic state group and increasingly Al-Qaeda-led anti-government fighters, while employing a carrot and stick policy towards the IS group itself. So Cameron was defending the IS group in this particular instance. Bombing them, bombing the same group that you're giving a carrot and stick policy to if they threaten other anti-government forces, but giving them a free hand when it comes to massacring Syrian soldiers. Do you see how convoluted and complex that is? This article is the summation of many articles and research and literature read, but that's how contradictory the IS, the ISIS situation is. Next, we move on to the buying narratives for whether the TJ are actually supporters of terrorism. Stay tuned for part two of four.